I'm going to teach you the basics on how to move your hips, what to do and what not to do. Okay, so let's get started. When you dance with your hips, there are a few things that are very important. Number one is giving your hips space to move. When you stand up straight, it's hard to move your hips around, yeah? So try it. Try to stand straight and try to rotate your hips. It's hard, right? So when you bend your knees, it's easier to move your hips around, yeah? So you can just move freely. So that is something you really need to pay attention to. The second one is where is your weight? And what I mean by that is, are you leaning more on your toes or are you leaning more on your heels? Yeah, because if you stand on your toes a little bit, so lift your heels and try to do this with your knees. It looks weird, <laughs> but it, I'm going to uh, make a point here. So try to move your knees around, but try to do that on your, when you're on your heels, your toes are up and try to move your knees, it's hard. So let's say we want to move our hips, right? We want to move, we want to rotate it, but we want to move your knees with it. It's harder to do that whew, with, your, with your weight on your heels, okay? So if something doesn't work and you're like, oh, I'm trying to copy a move or try to do a move and it's not working, most of the time it's, or your uh, knees aren't bent enough, or you're on the wrong side. You could also lean a little bit to the right, yeah? But as long as it's, you know, maybe a little bit to the front, it depends because you can still move your hips while you're on your heels, but without your knees, okay? So that's number two. Number three is also very important because when we move our hips, we go in four directions. You got front, you got left, you got back, to the right, yeah? And you can also have front, right, back, left. So we have four points. Those four points, we connect with a fluid line. So let's say we make a circle, right? So we have the front side, and then you fluidly go to the side, and then go to the back, and then go to the other side, and then to the front, yeah? So when you do this, also do it both ways, because it's going to have your hips more used to both sides and it's going to make it more loose, okay? So definitely pay attention to that, okay? So we have different sides, front, side, back, left. You can make it fluid, you can do it fast, but you can also make it in stops, yeah? And also because, you know, you have a, you have a circle, you can also do it in little stops, you know, because we have like 260 degrees, if you're familiar with a circle, you have little points. Like when you have a clock, you have different times, right? So you don't only have four, but four is the basic, yeah? For front, right, back, left. But you could also make it little, yeah? Little uh, stops. But the basic is front, right, back, left, and to the front, and other way around, yes? Number four, what you wanna pay attention to is when you move your hips, that you don't move your whole body, yeah? It's not a bad thing, but you want control. When you tell your body to only move your hips, only move your hips, yeah? And that you do not move your shoulders when you don't want to, yeah? So you don't want your body to move and then other parts move well when you don't invite them to the party, okay? So make sure you pay attention to your other body parts, yeah? Just only move your hips, yes? A big mistake I see people make is when they move their hips, they move their backs, yeah? So you get this, yeah? But that's you moving your back. So you don't wanna do this, because you can also move your hips while you do that, but you wanna just move this. See the difference between this and this? It's not a wrong move, but if you really want to control just the hips, you just have to move this part, yeah? And not just doing that, yeah? Because that's pretty much a little bit cheating, okay? So really pay attention when you move your hips, do not move your back. So no this, it's just this, yeah? And then later you can make variations, yeah? And number five, you wanna practice slowly because when you move slowly, you can feel every 
part of where your body moves to. Okay, so when you have a, an exercise that you want to do, first just try it out slowly and then later you speed it up to make it a little faster. Yeah, so that's how you're going to get more control because if you rush it, there's no control to it. And you want to control the tempo. You want to go slow and you want to go fast whenever you want to. Yes? And number six, it's very important that when you move around, that if you have to move fluidly, make sure it's fluidly. Yeah? So you don't want to have little stops and little choppy moves if it's not necessary. Yeah? So if you want to move fluidly, try to do it as fluid as possible without any stops and in the same tempo. So don't go a little too fast when you go around the corner, just constant speed. Yeah? So do not go a little faster unless that's what you want to do. But practicing your move on the constant speed, the same speed all around, that's what's going to give you the control. So make sure you remember these tips when you do my exercises, okay? Have fun.